Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and Thomas slept for 11 hours. Oh God. I feel like I don't even have to tell you how long he slept for. You, like, you can just tell by my mood and my awake, my awakeness. It's not a word. Brittany in Vegas cup, lemon water. Unpopular opinion, wasn't a huge fan of Vegas. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm happy I went, but I don't know if I would be like pumped to go back. Although I will say, when we went to Vegas, we knew that the next week Thomas was getting his autism diagnosis, so it was a titch tainted. Um, <laughs> so maybe I need to go back with some girlfriends. Mm. See the Backstreet Boys? Did you already eat those waffles? I highly doubt it. I wanna show you Thomas's shirt today. Just one sec. Say good morning. Look at his shirt. Don't stop believing, and it's Santa. Well, oh, hi. He's like, this is the thanks I get for sleeping. Hey, come here, I gave you breakfast. I think he gets goldfish for breakfast. There's two perfectly good waffles right here. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Toodles. Thomas. Oh. Do you ever have those mornings where you do your makeup and your eyes just water? Okay, um, we are up, it's 7.08, and I am getting us ready to get out the door early this morning because today is farm's last day. If you're not, if you don't know who I'm talking about, um, I did a morning show on a radio station that I no longer work for called Sun FM from 2007 till 2016 and from 2009 to 2016 no yeah my co-host was Randy Farmer farm farmer that's what I talk about um, so we did the morning show forever. Now he does the morning show with Alicia, who you've seen in six million vlogs, who you'll see tonight, because we're going to see Jerry Seinfeld tonight. Ooh, 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 ooh. I had a dream that Jessica Seinfeld was there. I was like, that would be better. I'd rather see her. Anyway, um, it's his last day on Sun today. So I'm listening to their show, and I just ordered them breakfast from Terry's. We're gonna pick it up, and we're gonna go surprise him with it. Alicia knows we're coming. A casual amount of food from Terry's, you know, gotta do it. Somehow this is the second time we've been here this week. It's toodles. Oh. Except this time, Farmer knows I'm here. I snuck in last. Look, is this like blast from the past or what? I know, right? Eating his Me Terry's. Eating, Cause that's what I do. When Alicia's the one who's like actually working. <laughs> I'm getting buttons and eating hash browns in between. I told them that we'll see you tonight <laughs> because of Seinfeld. What up? I'm so excited. Yeah. It's I gonna be amazing. Be okay, I'll let them get back to work. But yeah, we working. Had, That's what we're doing we today. We just had to bring breakfast. <laughs> okay, it's 8.56 and holy has this morning already been super busy, but so good. It was so nice listening to their show this morning. Alicia did such a good job getting all the audio. She had clips from so many people wishing Farmer well, including his son who's in Australia. I did one, of course made jokes inappropriately as you do he was so excited to get breakfast and see Thomas and I just took T-bone to school got gas now I have my two radio shows to do like because I'm covering the one in can loops and then I'm doing this one but I have <laughs> hardly any time before I need to get back in the car and drive because our actual main office for the radio station is an hour away and we're having a meeting at 11. Like I said, it's 8.56. So I need to be in the car by 10. So this is gonna get crazy. This is why I wanted to come in here last night, but the door was locked. It's all good. It's all, this is good. It's fine, it's fine. I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. We're leaving 10 minutes later than I would have liked to, but that's okay. 
on my way now to the meeting. It's about an hour's drive, which is great because I was hoping to be able to listen to a podcast, but at my phone, it wasn't working. So I thought I would talk to you instead for a minute because I listen, you know, it's the same phone. Can't do it all at once. And I'm going to paraphrase a question that I got and answer it while we drive because obviously I can't read the question. And I think it was Jody was asking why I'm not putting up Jeremy, like Christmas ornaments that make me think of Jeremy and why I was getting rid of stuff and um, just basically like not understanding why I wouldn't want that stuff up. So I haven't thrown any of it away. The stuff that I got rid of was basically like Christmas stuff that never came out of the tubs was like stuff that I just never put up anyways so it was like a good excuse to get rid of it or it was like stuff that was broken or like I don't even know why I was keeping some of that stuff side note why do public bathrooms have to have the worst hand soap always Thomas has his own soap at school because he would get like our little rash on his hand from the soap at school. <laughs> I only use my bath and body works. Anyways, okay. So the question was like, why am I getting rid of stuff? Why aren't I putting up stuff? Like that kind of question. So I didn't get rid of anything. I did get rid of a few things that um, I just like don't need anymore. And then Jeremy and I exchanged a Christmas ornament every year, like starting the first year that we were dating. So 2005. Um, so we had a lot of Christmas ornaments that were obviously very sentimental. So I didn't get rid of them. I just didn't put them up this year. And why? Because it's too upsetting. <laughs> That's why. Um, not to say I'm not going to put them up. Eventually, I don't know what the future entails I just know that like I couldn't see the typical Christmas tree this year so what I did was on my main Christmas tree that you've seen which is in my in my living room it's baubles and just like beautiful strings of um, I don't even know what they are like little balls and then the one ornament is Thomas's baby ornament, which has his little like cherub face, which is adorable. And then the Christmas tree in the basement, which I haven't shown you yet, but I will, is Thomas's Christmas ornaments because he gets an ornament every year, most years. And then I did put up some of me and Jeremy's ornaments on that tree. And I did put up the year that we got married, I made Christmas ornaments and it's like a picture from our wedding and it says love in 2009. So I put that one on the Christmas tree. So there's a picture of me and Jer on it. Um, so it is up and I will see it. I don't really know the best way to describe it. It's just too hard. Um, but I'm not getting rid of stuff because I, th I think part of the question was like, what if you want it in like 10 years? Yeah, like I'm not. And, and that like goes for my house basically. Like there is some stuff I've gotten rid of, but a lot of it I've just put in this storage room. Like photos and clothes and etc. I haven't thrown it out. I just, I can't look at pictures of Jeremy right now. And it's too hard. And I was also told that it would be very confusing for Thomas. So I haven't just like completely eliminated everything and gotten rid of everything. Like I said in a previous video, they say not to do anything rash for a year, like not make any big decisions. And that's what I've been doing, but it's just in the storage room for now. And the Christmas decorations that I just couldn't bear to put up because they're too sentimental and it was too upsetting they're in the storage room too, but I didn't, I they haven't gone anywhere. So hopefully that answers your question. And for some people, 
they want to have everything up and they want to like almost have a shrine and they want to have photos and they want to have every single like memory up and that's great if that's what comforts you that's cool it's not what comforts me and <clears throat> I'm super mindful of Thomas because um, I don't know what's going on in that little mind of his and I'm just trying to be as like sensitive for him as possible so I hope that answers your question there is something in the works for Thomas's room that has to do with Jeremy someone very kindly offered to do something incredible for him so when I receive it I will show you and like I said I think I'll get to a point where I can put photos up and stuff but honestly right now like I just look at pictures and it's a whole range of emotion it's just different it's different for everyone we've got two very stuffed stockings ready for tomorrow's Toys for Tots to Teens. I'm gonna go drop them off after I pick up Thomas from school. Oh, uh, yes. So I'm sitting here editing tonight's vlog. Thomas is hanging out with me. But like, what do you, very happy. What do you think his fascination is with like never wanting any pillows on whatever surface he's sitting on? Like they're just in the way, mom. <laughs> So, for Mare who likes throw pillows, <laughs> Thomas does not. I want to say a big thank you to Paige. This morning I woke up and there was an email in my inbox saying I had a free Starbucks drink from you. So, thank you. I have already gone and picked it up. Yes, I have. Oh, hello. What would you like? What's up? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's up, bud? Is that bugging you? Well, he wants me to take his medic alert off. And this off? We're watching Elmo in Spanish right now. Don't like your medic alert right now? Is that what you wanted? Good communication. Don't you take that off. He's gonna try to take the bottom of the chair off. Okay, as I was saying, Paige, thank you. This was in my inbox saying I had a free drink. And I like that it says, give good. You gave good. This made my day. I got a green tea latte with coconut milk. This has become my favorite thing right now. I am so touched. I am so touched. This is what I needed today. I needed a pick me up and a little bit of energy before I go see Seinfeld. Oh, hello. Go to see Seinfeld tonight. You're so kind. That was so nice of you. Thank you. I told you you'd see Alicia again. Yay. We're here for Seinfeld. A little more made up than this morning when I didn't have anything on my face. <laughs> so excited though. Oh my god. So stoked. Apparently, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's all new material tonight. We're the first stop on this tour. No one's seen this. So no spoilers, I'm not gonna film it. We just wanted to say hi. Yes. Oh my gosh, Jerry Seinfeld was so good. I think I did an ab workout. I was laughing so hard and crying from laughter. He's just so funny, so smart, so talented. Like how he does all that content and like has it memorized is just so impressive to me. It was so much fun. So fun to go out with Alicia, and just, it was such a good night. So much fun. Like, just felt really good to laugh. So I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed. It's 10.30, who am I? Thanks for watching. Please lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Hope you have some laughter in your day today, and I'll see you tomorrow.